And you know, I, I tell people in New Orleans all the time, the city has taught me so much about life. Um, it has, it is an utterly different culture from the rest of the United States. Um, Dan Baum, who wrote a wonderful book this, that came out this year called Nine Lives, about nine people in New Orleans before and after the disaster, says it's a city that doesn't run by the dollar or the clock. Mm. And uh, life is a lot sweeter and uh, more profound that way. You know? My uh, main thing for the first half of the year, though, is I'm doing a feature-length documentary on why New Orleans flooded and why it might happen again. Well, talk about that. You mentioned that. Yeah. What's your main message, do you think? Well, my message is that I've been paying, as a New Orleanian, I've been paying attention. I'm a comedian. What do I know? I've been paying attention to the people who actually did the investigations. The two different teams of forensic engineers dug into the mud right after the thing, right after the water receded, and came out with virtually identical reports saying these were a series of uh, disastrous, catastrophic, basic engineering mistakes by the Army Corps of Engineers which built this system, which the Corps said in their mea culpa report was a system in name only. And I have a whistleblower from the Corps who says that some of the same things are happening in the new improved system. And uh, a report to that effect has been on President Obama's desk since June of this year with no action taken. Didn't the Corps recently get, in fact, blamed in court? And yes. the door opened for um, re you know, compensation for Yes, some uh, a federal judge, Stanwood Duval, in a, in a landmark case, said that the just lambasted the Corps um, for specifically this channel that channeled uh, storm surge straight from the Gulf into the heart of the city, which is what everybody predicted would happen when the Corps built it in the first place. Uh, unfortunately, that's only part of the of, of what the Corps did. The rest of it on the other side of town was protected by an immunity statute. So people in the main part of town can't sue, but people in the east part of town, which includes Lower Ninth Ward and New Orleans East and St. Bernard Parish, have been empowered by this suit to proceed, uh, by this judgment to proceed. So it's billions of dollars that the federal government is going to pay for doing it wrong rather than paying, you know, hundreds of millions to do it right. I don't understand the economics of that, but <laughs> there it is.